Welcome, everybody. It is Way Back Wednesday. Way Back. <coughs> way Back Wednesday. We're going to go <coughs> in a little bit to a program that was done 10 years ago right now. Oh, boy. And 10 years ago right now, we were up the road, but somebody was with me, and we were honoring and thinking of somebody that he knew and loved for many, many years, his neighbor, and we're going to share that. And we're going to share some really cool memories of what we've done together because we've done so much. You know how many years we've been doing this? And a and I was little, thinking little, about, about the community long, meal. Since we were twenty one. Do you know how long ago that community yes, meal started? Yes I do. And I'm like, holy cow, the time is flying by, y'all. Why is time going so fast? Look at how we Why used to is ride time going and take so pictures fast? Pictures of flowers, of barns. You know of who churches? passed away this week? No. The little gentleman whose garden we photographed and Miss Barbara. No. Yes, yes, Mr. Dad. Davenport. That was the Davenport yes, that passed yes, away. Yes, yes, yes. And when I saw that, I you just know, now said. I've met his grandson. His grandson is a computer whiz. And his son Butch is a sweetheart. It, yes, a, he isn't he is. a firefighter? I yeah, believe I he's a firefighter. He was, yes, I think or maybe he retired. But, but Michelle knows the grandson, and he yeah. is just a real nice. Well, guy. you know, a I look. Big doodles <coughs> and I look back. Animals. The day we were digging potatoes in silk pants, and I had on some cute little sandals that had rhinestones on them. And I said, I don't really want mud and dirt in my rhinestones. So I kicked my sandals off and went in the garden barefoot. And I had on white silk pants and a lavender shirt. And you took pictures of us out there in the garden. And that was kind of like. And the potatoes in the, in, in, in underneath, in the, in the, in the cellar. Potatoes and onions, yes, potatoes that they put up. I've never seen that many potatoes. It's, he said, this is a year's worth. Time. Yeah, and they donated so much stuff to so many people. The most beautiful garden, the most beautiful garden. Well, he's the gone world to be with Jesus. Davenport. You know, I didn't know that was gone him, to be with but Jesus. I wondered, yep. but I didn't know. Precious, a precious man. passed away till yesterday when I rode by the funeral home and the light yep. was turned on. That You know, that's our signal. When you, you know what I light. think is so weird about what's happening with funeral homes today? You know how you used to call the obit line and you listen and there's two a day? Or they might be say, they'd Not say, anymore. we have good news to report. We have no deaths today. That's good news. That is. Now there's like sometimes six to eight bodies. Mm -hmm. And so you listen to all this stuff and you're like, oh, I know that one. Oh, I know that one. Time is flying by. And if you're not living and loving and enjoying every moment, this next moment may be your last moment. Well, and we all go through that. You know, I, I listen to people talk about, well, I'm going to worry about that next year. Live for today. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't plan, have a choice. Today could be future, our last day. But live for today and enjoy today. Enjoy what God has given you. Don't worry about it. I was talking to uh, a social worker yesterday because I've had a little bit of depression. And she says, well, it's not really depression. She said, you've gone through a lot and you're just starting to live what you've been through because as you're going through it, you don't think about it. So she mm -hmm. said, it, it's not really depression. It's just you're starting to realize everything that you've gone through. Mm -hmm. And two days from now, today's the sixth, to, will be my one year anniversary of it being discovered. So what you were reading a while ago, I, I, I got to read this. I, I got to read, read this again. I read again. it for y'all on Facebook, but I got to read it. That's, that's This is remarkable. April the 5th, and this is in the little um, thing that Don gave me that is so amazing. There's so many great things in here. Life has much suffering, but too often we suffer unnecessarily because of the lies we believe about ourselves and our circumstances. We accept as fact the words that are spoken to our souls by an enemy who wants us destroyed. But we can overcome each one of those lies with prayer, faith, and the truth of God's word. You just don't Man, listen. Man, how powerful you just don't is that? Listen. You know, when you're sometimes at your lowest is how when the devil comes that? to you yes. and yes. whispers in your ear and yes. makes you believe or do something that you ordinarily wouldn't Absolutely. do. Absolutely. And we've got to be positive and just keep on going instead of dwelling mm -hmm. on what we know mm -hmm. the devil's mm -hmm. whispering to us. And, and again, if everybody go to Lucy Harris's Facebook page today and read a poem that she put on there, and I think it said that her grandmother wrote it. Either Lucy or her grandmother, I'm not sure, but when I was reading it, I was like, oh, oh, How oh. How long has it been since Noah left us? 15 years? 15 years? 15, 16 15. years? I was trying yeah. to think the other day. Yeah. I don't know whether you he showed would be a, a with man on... in his 30s, in his late 30s, I think. Isn't that crazy? He's been gone that long. 
it, it's just like yesterday on the news, Natalie Holloway's mother was in Aruba. Mm -hmm. 17 years since she disappeared. Wow. 17 years. And I remember years. the first day it came like on the mail. Yesterday. I mean, on the news, in the mail. Yeah. 2005. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you talk it's crazy. about time flying. Well, look at us. We're both 27 now, and it's just like yesterday. We turned 21. Yeah. So, you know, time, yeah. time, yeah. Flies. time flies. Well, I got tickled time. because I always do throwback stuff, and I was looking at pictures of my hair in the, in the stages of where it's been. And Pam Dorsey is the one, Pam Dorsey, Mary Jane Reed, uh, Joanne Norton, who has gone to be with Jesus, um, Christine, who's gone to be with Jesus. So many people know that my hair used to be, I could sit on it. Well, then I finally, I had headaches all the time. And I finally said, Pam, I said, this Loretta Lynn stuff's got to go. I said, I, you know, I had this thing about Loretta Lynn's music and I wanted that long black curly hair, da, da, da. And, and I said, you got to start cutting it. Well, my late husband's grandmother said, your hair is your crown and glory and you don't cut your hair. Then, and I said, was. Granny, I got a headache. I want my hair cut. <laughs> so I went in and I said, Pam, I want you to cut my hair. And she said, Where's J.S.? I said, what's it got to do with J.S.? She said, you call him. I won't tell him. I'm going to cut your hair. I said, you ain't telling him nothing. Ain't nothing to him. So we giggled and laughed. She cut six inches off. Well, because we owned a restaurant, I pinned it up on top of my hair with three so big really bobby pins. He didn't know you'd cut He didn't six know I'd cut my hair for I don't know how long. It was crazy. And then I would braid it and put it across the top of my head because being around food, I'm so conscious of that. I just can't imagine with you with a braid across the oh, top Oh, it was of funny as crap. I, uh, yes, I did that. When the boys were racing because we yeah. were out in dirt tracks. Oh, we were in some dirt tracks And my hair would be later, full yes. of ugh. So I would braid my hair. But I got so tickled because I thought, Lord, look at all these hairdos. And I'm lining them up last night for Throwback Thursday. Oh, yeah. And I said, holy cow. And the one that tickled me to death was me and Glenda Pearson. Glenda Buckner Pearson um, did a photo in our house on Penn Avenue in Atlanta. I had on a size seven, seven, y'all. Is that like that seven. dress you brought to the show that day? Uh-huh. And except it was black and white, and Glenda had on one of my other dresses, a size seven, and I had this big hairdo, and I thought I was Vestal Goodman, I guess, because and Marion, did you walk those dark hills? I did. I was in Atlanta then, and I would go to the beauty shop on Thursdays, and they would tease and do this big up sweep thing. And I would sit there and tears would just pour down my cheek. And Marion would say, would you please quit crying? That makes people think that I'm mean and violent to your head. And I said, I'm, I'm just it hurts. It just hurts. And, and she'd say, why do you have me do your hair this way? I said, because it looks good when you get done with That's it. That's right. I had mine done on Monday night. So, you know, I'd go and I'd, I'd do whatever I want to do on the weekend. And I'd go Monday night and I'd have good hair for work all week long. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd have my fun on the weekend and I'd go to work on Monday. And sometimes I'd wear a wig. And then I'd go and I lived, I'd go, I lived in Sandy Springs and I went to all the way south of Atlanta tomorrow to have my oh hair my done gosh. after work on Monday. Tomorrow I was like and the then I, it was it was the end of the world. It's so but then far. I drive home to Sandy Springs. But she was so good. And you know what? When you find a good well now when you find a good hairstylist, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where mm -hmm. they are. You well, go to I live it. Fortunately mine's in, mine's you know a quarter mile away now. Near Ansley Park. But I used a hairdresser in Buckhead, and honestly, I would sit in that chair, and tears would just pour down my cheeks. Well, but that back comb and I would hurt. Wear false eyelashes too. Oh, then. so did but I. But mine weren't obvious like a lot of people's. Mine were just enough filler. But it was so funny because I would sit there, and tears would just, and then one eyelash would get loose because of the tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! What's well, let's going not on? talk about a lot of the things we used to do either. Uh -uh. I look at uh -uh. old pictures, we were... and I look at the clothes, and uh, yeah. even 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 going back now to the 70s and the 80s and I look at the shoulder pads yeah. and I laugh at that. But you know, they're coming back. Laugh at it. I started to say, I've still got some in my closet. Don't I laugh at it. I started to say, well, I did too. I, and I bought something new the other day that has a little shoulder pad in uh -huh. it. But you know, what, what goes around comes around. Your favorite era of music, bar none. What's your favorite era of music? Anything the Bee Gees done. And they've Love had it. a hit yeah. every yeah. decade. They uh, absolutely, I, die incredibly hard, amazing. Die yeah. hard. I mean, yeah. I yeah. once flew to Fort Lauderdale at mm -hmm. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, went to the show on New Year's Eve that night, and flew home the next morning in 2000 mm -hmm. just to see the Bee Gees. Mm -hmm. And I was really glad mm -hmm. because 
Then they started dying off. Then they started dying off. Yeah, and yeah. now, but the but the most gorgeous one is still alive. Yeah. But yeah. he isn't as gorgeous today as he, he not was. As he was. But you know what? The... He was. He's still better looking than the twins were. Yeah. But it's still listening. I can listen wow. to that music, wow. Wow. and it just talks to my soul. But then Beach Boys, yeah. I would probably say 60s because yeah. I can really yeah. crank that sound up. Credence, Credence, Credence the Clearwater, Boys, and um, even the John Fogerty. Well, the Temptations. You well, know? I went to the. Te I went. I went to Hawassi to see the Temptations, and my mm -hmm. God, they were all 80 years old. <laughs> but you know what? They all sounded good. Yeah. But then they were there, and then they began to die off, and now they've yep. got new ones in. But I saw the old Temptations with Chubby Checker, mm -hmm. and boy, that was a good mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. But I tend to like the old music. I wonder what viewers would give to see us get on this table and dance. And Man, I can twist. twist. <laughs> I can still. I can still twist. I can still That's twist. Good. That would be funny. Yeah, hold on. Michelle says, "Wait till I get my camera out. Don't don't that start that." That would be that. so funny. But oh. what's your favorite, John? I love the '60s. Mm -hmm. I just love the '60s. I love a little bit of early '70s, but the '60s were just my the Beach thing. Boys. The '60s were my thing. Uh, you yeah. know the Shirelles. Just uh, you know, always be my baby, my favorite favorite. Just that that's the favorite. But then I go back to in the ghetto with Elvis Presley. I go back to um, can't stop loving you, Elvis Presley. I go back to see. Elvis. I can't can't help. Yeah, I can't stop loving you. Love it's it. probably one of my all time favorite songs. Well, we got it's out of Blue Hawaii. I could listen and, to it all day Ray long. And Ray Charles, Ray Charles was a, an amazing icon. Oh, then. I can't and, stop loving <clears> you. And and even that was the time I was doing rock and roll and country. Loved Patsy Klein, loved her from the I didn't get I into country till later. Well, I liked them till both at the my same dad time. was into country, but my dad was into the Ernest Tubb, mm -hmm. the old twang country mm -hmm. that I now absolutely love. I know somebody else love. is into that twang, and it's funny you brought that up because we're going to be playing something in a minute. It's a little twangy, and uh, it's because yesterday <clears throat> was somebody's birthday, and I think we have a picture of yesterday's victim of a birthday and uh, <laughs> it's so weird to me that all these years have passed and there's Freddie Brackett as he is today except that was in February I think. But you know he looks the same and, and he looked 10, uh, 12, 20. Yeah, when did we go so see, different. so different. When did we all go see Loretta Lynn and we were all down there and Tori showed up and ago. then he, sh he walked 13 up. 13 years ago. And yep. Yep, he drove his white Toyota. 13, 13 years ago <coughs> down yeah, there. Yeah, it's crazy. Time has just flown by, but yesterday was his birthday, and so today we're going to honor him with something that was very special to him, and, and when a dear friend passed away, he told her, all I want are your musical things, and so he has her old recordings, her couple of old records. He's actually gotten on eBay and bought one of her records from somebody out in, I think, Oklahoma or somewhere. Really? So it's very weird, but that era of music, that twangy stuff that we used to hear. Um, Kitty Wells oh, wasn't that twangy, but look. it's it's crazy how we all, country music is what we grew up with, but Ernest Tubb, what was that, Walking the Floor Over You? Oh, yeah. I, I, I love that now. How many times did your daddy listen to that? Oh, about a thousand. It's because a, we a didn't month. have... A month, I mean, it, we didn't have a lot. He no, listened to that variety. and he listened to Hovey Lister. Oh my gosh, what you know, amazing music. Yeah, what amazing music. And that music. piano. And I think back on it now, and I was just a kid, and I thought, you know, I'm not really wild about that because I was really into the rock and roll mm -hmm. and the beach mm -hmm. scene. And I think I really missed some good times with my dad because I'd go, I can't listen to that. Let me it, tell you who I've interviewed that died since I interviewed him. You, t you talk about feeling Well, there, there are honored. a whole bunch of people. Earl Thomas Conley, dementia, Charlie Pride, um, COVID. Um, Billy Joe Royal was sick before I interviewed him. I don't know what got him, but he was sick before I interviewed him. And um, I just think about these people, that was a once in a lifetime shot. And so we had that footage, we lost part of it because a tape broke here. Oh no. And it just, those are things that can't be replaced. They just can't be Absolutely. replaced. There are moments in life that you can't replace because those people are gone and it's like, Charlie Pride was one of about six Nashville artists who died from COVID. And he was still doing concerts and still touring. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, so but we're going to go back today. <clears throat> this is just a little tribute, and it is, um, it is some twangy music. I love both the songs. I'm not sure which song we're going to do. 
but we're going to share a little bit of music from 10 years ago that we did it on the air up the road and it was so much fun and so sit back and uh, let's take a trip back about 10 years here we go <laughs> Well, we're going to go now to some music from the 70s from a local lady. She she went to Nashville. She stood on the Grand Ole Opry. She opened for Loretta Lynn. She gave it all up and went home and had a little bakery in her house and uh, spent the rest of her life being Charlie Prater's wife. That's right. And uh, a, a good life. But, uh, yeah, she might have missed that little edge. She might have been one of those people we're still watching on stage now in his 80s. She George Jones is still performing, and Charlie Faye could have done the same. Here yeah. we go. Shirley Faye Prater from Rainsville, Alabama. There you go. Um, you know, it's funny. I grew up, first of all, I like rock and roll. Okay, can we go back to about five minutes of that interview? Okay, here we go. <laughs> 
pink radio, and it was plastic pink AM radio, and I would listen to 57.9 in Orlando, and that's when I was first introduced to country music, and it was during the time there was Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn. Um, I remember Tammy Wynette, Your Good Girl's Gonna Go Bad. Do you remember that song? Oh, yeah. Loved, loved, loved that song. Those were songs that really made a statement to me. Now, why? Then I come around and I get into Loretta Lynn, and we got... Fifth City. Speaking of Loretta Lynn, that just goes to show the era, the, the, the decade difference between you and me. <laughs> you like songs that I, of, of Loretta Lynn that I'm not really into. It yeah. was her early, early right, beginning right, years, right. such as what? Don't Come Home With Drinking, Fifth City, no, You no, Ain't no, Woman no, Enough. No, 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 no. What? Okay. What? That's my song. But those are the ones I like. No. I, you know what I'm talking about. That one. Saint to a Center. That one. What's another one? <laughs> uh, come on, you name you not can name. Happy one. birthday is one no. of the older ones. All right, let's uh, see. The house you're tearing down. The house you're tearing song. down. The other woman. Yeah, yes, the other, yes, there you go. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> the in the her era of the Fifth City and and don't come home a drinking and right. ain't woman enough. Right. One's on the way and right and and the peel. Remember when the controversial songs? That's what I was gonna say. When I was listening to 57.9 in Orlando, there were some of the songs that came out that were a little bit controversial, and they pulled them from the yep. radio. You know, today, anything goes on the radio. We hear some stuff on the radio that I'm going, oh, what are they talking about? Now, you said this morning you have a, a radio on the bus, and the kids sometimes sing along with mm -hmm. it. What kind of music do they sing along to? Well, it's... 101.5. So, so it's, it's the new country, country. The yeah. new country, yeah. 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 God, I couldn't imagine putting in Loretta Lynn and them, <laughs> them <kids laughs> singing going. along with that. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah. Of course, you know, I don't know. I'd say that the county would probably buck on me on that one yeah. if they knew that I was playing Loretta. Don't Come Home a Drinking or... or Fifth City. Or the Peel, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be in trouble. Yeah. But it is a different era, and, and the music I liked. Now, I was into the 60s rock and roll. You're not really into the 60s rock and roll, are you? Because I really. loved I loved the Beach Boys. I loved the Beatles. I, I loved like the, the Righteous Beach. Brothers. Yeah, I, like some of those, I loved yeah. Elvis Presley. And, y'all, the story on his birthday, we're going to feature his music. Let me tell you something. When he died, oh, my gosh, it was I'd never seen him in person, but it was like he was part of my family because I grew up on his music. And I cried forever. Do you know there were people who really got down and depressed over losing? He was the king. He was always the king. You're not really a big, huge Elvis fan, are you? Not really. There's no. just a few songs of him. Yeah, by and, him and he I was like. the king. But yeah, he is a part of history. I mm -hmm. mean, part of the that era, so... I'm glad there was an Elvis Presley, you know. Man, and I'd he, love to go visit Grace. Oh, Dad yeah, someday. we've got to do that. And, and, you know, there's a song he did later in life called In the Ghetto. And it's a song that kind of transitioned him into a little bit of pop, a little bit of rock and roll. But he was the king of country music, too. He started out with gospel, a little country, and then he went to rock and roll. So he was over every every single thing he did. Now, um, one of the songs that I love by George Jones is He Stopped Loving Her Today. And, uh, you know, we were just talking about it. It was the number one song ever as far as popularity. Is that a song that you think a lot of people relate to? He Stopped Loving Her Today? Uh, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's one that you always associate it with George, but a lot of people have done it. Now, one of my favorite songs is Life Turned Her That Way by Mel Tillis. And last night, we were listening to it, and you said... I like Mel Tillis, but I like the way Ricky Van Ricky Shelton... Ricky Van Shelton does it yeah. better. Now, in my opinion, when you mess with the original, you have messed up. I think you ought to leave well enough alone, and Mel Tillis did the original. But I also made a statement. If there was one interview I could ever do... One interview that I Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride does life turned her that way. Headed to Canada. Headed to Canada. He's always in Canada. Why doesn't he come down here where we can get an interview with him? Well, you know, it's like Billy Joe Spears. She always uh her fan base was out of what, what where overseas? Somewhere, somewhere overseas. Germany or Belgium or somewhere crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's so strange because a lot of the old rock and roll people, 
went to Europe, and they are still hot in Europe. Well, it's like Percy Sledge. You know, he goes to Belgium twice a year, for goodness sake. You think about that. I can't even get up to Michigan to cross into Canada to see Charlie Pride. And these people are flipping around all over the world, but it's because that old rock and roll music is still making an impact in, in foreign lands. So it's amazing to me. But, but that, the old stuff, I, I don't think it gets any better than that. Well, it's kind of odd to me that overseas people like songs, like I was saying. They're burners. Yeah, yeah. Uh, toured overseas. And they just went crazy on Blanket on the Ground. Mm -hmm. the song do you like that song? I love that song. You're, yeah, you do. And I think a lot of it is uh, the reason why I like it is because I relate it to Shirley Faye. Because uh -huh. when I would go down to visit her when they lived in Ball Ground when I was a kid growing up, she would, of course, all the time be doing something, whether it's working out in the yard or inside uh, baking cakes or whatever. She was always singing, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. If me and her was not talking, she was singing. Mm -hmm. In between our conversations, I guess in between thinking of something else to say, she would sing. Wow, wow. Well, I, I hope that y'all enjoyed that oldie music. And, and, you know, go to YouTube and look at some of your old... Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more.
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. just flew by that was 10 yes. years ago y'all 10 years ago and um, yeah day before yesterday a precious little boy did something that I want to share because he loves to sing happy birthday and so he sang happy birthday in his own version and we recorded it and sent it to Freddie and um, it was Riker loves birthdays I mean if you tell Riker we're gonna have a cake every day and we're gonna have candles every day smiling, he'd be a happy he, little he'd be loving every second of it he's so, just so precious here we go with our little tribute from not yet okay not yet we're still <laughs> working on it. but but when I think about Riker's almost four. Do you know how many birthdays? That's four birthdays. That boy, he's just like Going this. like that. And it's like he was just born. And now he's I was almost the shower four. I at the shower pictures when he was it's still crazy. mommy's. Yeah, yeah. It is day. so weird how the time is truly flying by. And we talked about the community meal and how when that started, you know how many people we've lost since oh, the community no, meal? Let, From no, Wanda not, Pittman to we're Joyce Bryson. We're not going Bryson to count them down. To it, it David just, White, James Berger. Uh, uh, Joe Rufert, who brought the us Abernathy's, tons of food. The Abernathy's. Yeah. It's, it is absolutely just, crazy. We have lost Pauline so many Osborne. people. Mm -hmm. Greens. Oh, she loved me. And she was oh, so sweet. Oh, she was such a sweetheart. I had one last can of her collards that she fixed for me. I cooked them, used them, and then I have one can of turnips that she did for me. And I have one can of applesauce. That's all I have left. And she brought me so cases many of canned stuff. Joyce and Papa Jack. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, could, it's we could sit here all day and list the and names of people. And then we get upset and the depressed, Blackstones. and we can't do that. But we got to get happy, and we got to shout. We got to shout, 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 shout to the roofs that Selena is doing well. She has had her sixth chemo, and I still have a few Angel Spirit CDs, and she still has some more, and we just need to sell them, sell them, sell them. And to if anybody raise money in the Northern Market wants it, they can contact me, you'll you. get them to me, or yep. get, get, call yep. me. 
Okay, $10 each, and they are still available. I need to go by Deb's Bakery and see if they're out, and then um, uh, did, uh, Robin's Nest, the florist, and Jasper. That's where they have them. We also still have four at Laura Mays, so Laura Mays and Ballgram, but please support Selena in prayer. If you want to uh, stop by and pick up a CD, that would be great because we're trying to help her keep her spirits up. Angel spirit Angel needs to spirit keep its spirit up. Needs so, to be up. You know, we are... <clears throat> it's so important when you're going through this... We don't know what the next moment's going to bring. ...that you don't get into that quagmire of self-pity. Mm -hmm. And we just need to keep her going forward and putting yep. one foot yep. in front of the okay, other one. Okay, you had a PET scan yesterday. When will we get the results? Well, I have an appointment with my oncologist next Tuesday. And I will either hear from him before then or I will hear from him then. Now, he called me before Thanksgiving with the one that I had about 7.30 one night, and he said, Thanksgiving's coming up. I know that you've been worried about your PET scan. I just got the results, and I wanted you to be able to have a happier Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Your PET scan's clear. Not awesome. a thing on there. Awesome. So that's what I ordered at the hospital yesterday was a clean PET scan. Yeah, so yeah. Got our fingers crossed. Well, yeah, it, you know, yeah. again, it's in God's hands. Yeah, yeah. So whatever yeah. he wants, I'm not having any symptoms. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Going through a little bit of challenge from, I guess, of processing what the last year has been. Mm -hmm. When you stop and think about how, hurry up and run and stop and, I mean, I've virtually been a, a recluse and, you know, I was not on here with you for so long and I missed that. But I use this as something, as a goal to work towards, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. to get back to. You're going to get back to TV, yeah. yeah. That get back to cool being thing. with you. Yeah. It wasn't so much TV, yeah. but just getting back to sitting here and laughing and carrying on like we do and cooking like we do sometimes and just having a good time. I still think about the day that we got, we don't know if we got hacked, we don't know what happened here, but we had a little glitch and we lost our program with the salmon patties and so we'll have to do it again. Okay, now we're going to do a little happy yesterday birthday from Riker to Freddie Brackett. So here we go. I'm back too. Happy birthday to Freddy. Happy birthday to you. Much on your birthday. Happy birthday to Freddy. Happy birthday to Freddy. Happy birthday to Sweet. What a, what a sweet boy. What That's Riker's cute. version of happy birthday. Okay, today is April the 6th. We survived All April the 5th and we read the And we're going to batten about down that. the hatches after a while for we today. Are. On April the 6th, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12, 2. So there you go. So today, if you are in fear of the storms coming in, um, because we survived Palm Sunday mm -hmm. and lost our business, our house was lifted off its foundation, and the roof was kind of damaged, and our offices, if we had been at work that day, probably we would have all been killed. So well, you know I lost a tree the other day. Storms are scary. I lost a tree and it literally down mm -hmm. at the at the dirt line it looked like somebody just took the tree and twisted a bottle top off. It didn't break, it didn't pull out of the dirt. Crazy. It twisted off. That cherry tree that James planted from a seedling oh, wow. broke my heart. Oh my broke gosh! Broke my heart. You that can't beautiful cherry tree. Like no, that. I can't. No. And I'm holding my breath about oh, the dogwood tree this gosh. afternoon. Well. But it was such a healthy cherry tree, and it was starting to bud. And it just—I walk out there now, and there's just this empty space in the yard where my cherry That's tree sad. was. But I mean, it was a—it was a big tree. And of course, my neighbor came over with the saw and cut it in pieces and took care of it. But yeah, I walked out the door and I couldn't believe it. I said, I called Michelle. I said, come over here quick. My cherry tree's in the ground, on the ground. And she, she said, what are you talking about? I said, my cherry tree's That's sad. laying down on the ground. And cherry wood would be good to make small pieces of. Well, they, the, the neighbor took it to smoke with. He's oh. going to let, it, Ooh, he's gonna let it season and he's going to. Oh, yeah. Cooking over cherry wood is yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, be I smoke over cherry chips. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. But awesome. no, I didn't want that. Well, can well, we we've talk got something we've got to talk about. We yes, got two things we have two coming things. up. Yes. Um, but first, of all, I'll do Monday. You're yes. going to do a show on Monday, and Brenda Proctor and Rennie Ryder from the Rock.
Community Church are going to be here and talk about their Marriage on the Rock program mm -hmm. that's going to be held on April the 22nd and April 23rd at the church in Copper Hill. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a program on marriage. You know, love never fails, it says in, in Corinthians, uh, Corinthians 3, oh, 13, 8, that love never fails. And this is a program for actually, whether you're new married, you've got it right there. <laughs> That's why it's familiar to me. Yeah. But I want that they'll be here on Monday. They'll be here Monday and care talking Pantry about will this. Be here Monday. Absolutely. So we're going to have a busy Monday. And I will miss seeing you on Monday, but I will be at the doctor's office. There you go. But now one of the exciting things coming up and I think you're even going to be part of this too. On April the 30th in Blue Ridge, it's time to race everybody. We're going to have the Soapbox Derby for the first time in two years at the Fannin yep. Middle School. Yep. And we want everybody to come in. Now, if you've got a child that would like to drive a car, but you can't get a car kit, you can register your child's name. They're going to draw out names. for. We have some companies that are sponsoring cars but mm -hmm. don't have a driver. So wow. there are opportunities for children to drive. What there age are, children? Okay, there are two classes coming up and I have to read seven this because seven uh -huh. to 12 and 13 and over. And, okay. 13 and, over. and okay. there's a stock class and an outlaw mm -hmm. class. Sound familiar? Outlaw sounds outlaw like something we'd want to do. That, yeah. That's what we'd want to <laughs> yeah. do. Yeah. But they're in desperate need of volunteers. Yeah. If you would contact Michelle Watson at Soapbox Derby Volunteer. volunteer. Volunteers. Soapbox volunteers at gmail.com. They would love to have you come in and volunteer that day. It's going to be held at the Fannin County Middle School and it benefits the schools in Fannin County and this whole area around here. Mm -hmm. They're working to get one started back here in Gilmer County and it's just such a wonderful program. All of you have heard about the Soapbox Derbies for so many years. There and there go. are very specific rules and regulations. But you know, my cousins up in Akron, Ohio is the first time I ever heard of a Soapbox Derby and it was a big to-do. I mean, that's a big deal. Well, it's, it's a 501c3 tax exempt foundation because all the money goes back in to our children. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's so very important and we want to see everybody at the Fannin County Middle School on April the 30th. And I'm going to leave this here on the table. Okay. I'm not involved with it, I'll Michelle it. is. I'm saying we like the royal yeah. we. Yeah, I'll use it But soapbox derbies, I went to a soapbox derby in Indianapolis a thousand years ago. And it was one of the, the national when soapbox we were kids. derbies. When we were kids. Bill Senior. When I had a little bitty waist. <laughs> yeah, Bill Senior, when we had a little bitty waist. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, April 30th for the soapbox derby. And yeah. then on Monday, Rennie and Brenda will be talking about Marriage on the Rock. It's the Rock Community Church in Copper Hill. Mm -hmm. It's an important program whether you're, you're looking to get married, whether you've been married a while, or whether you've been married a thousand years, what are your secrets for a happy marriage? And so I hope everybody will tune in on Monday and, and listen to them. They've got a, a perfect program. And mm -hmm. you know Miss Brenda. Miss Brenda is one of mm -hmm. your biggest Jesus, fans. Good morning. Sweet. We already talked to her sweet, today. Sweet, sweet, sweet but I'm excited She's that we sweet, finally sweet, got him down sweet. here to do the yeah. show. And then yeah. I think we've got James McGraw coming in up on the 26th of April. He'll be here for a live program on that Wednesday. So make a note that James will be with us. He is getting ready to have a hip replacement. So let's put James. He's young, y'all. He, he's, he's already a baby. Had, he's already had one hip replaced. So this genetic? is his, his yes, genetic, it is. Yes. And he's wow. going in for his second hip replacement. He ain't gonna on be the doing 13th. the twist on this table. I well, guess. I don't know. He healed so fast <laughs> from the last one. He's the one who said, "I'll come on the 25th or 26th if you can there, do it." He was out there, y'all, when they tested me when I was over COVID. And it was so good to have two people that I trusted to do that for me. They tested me and I was negative and I was so happy because I had been down for those days. Mm -hmm. And after that, I had at least seven months of horrific, horrific headaches, but not a headache in Salon. I am and just I haven't so had it. Thank thankful. you, God. Thank you, God. But I've stayed away from everybody. Yeah. yeah. When I was, I, when I came here in December with you, you were the only person other than Michelle that I was around. But mm -hmm. I trusted mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You told me you had tested negatively. My doctor's going, don't be around people. You have no immune system. Yep. Yep. He said the minutest germ is going to attack you. And I 
He said, I got a hospital full of cancer patients with oh, it, yeah. and I don't want oh, that. Yeah. No, no, and no. so I did. I became a recluse. I go to church on Facebook. Well, I, I don't want to say life is back to normal because every day it's I still walk not. in. I was. I had a meeting uh, Monday, and the lady wore a mask because her immune system is compromised. And before she got there, I wiped everything down, and I was very cautious. So life is certainly not back to normal. But we are feeling a little better about the circumstances. I took my mask off. When so. we left the hospital yesterday, it had stopped raining. And we stopped in LJ to have a, a steak late lunch at one of our steakhouses. And I wore my mask in, but I took my mask off when I got in there. And I wouldn't have done that three months ago. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done that three months ago. But Dr. Geller says, let's start a little bit. But he said, I still, you need to social distance. Mm -hmm. And he said, if somebody's sick, for God's sake, stay away from them. Right. And I think and that's still the key. Can't. Yeah, that's the key. A lot of people. You still can't go to a lot of doctor's office, and she can't go in with me as a caregiver. Well, I have to go have some more labs done, and you have to wear a mask in there, and I just don't like it, but I don't have a choice because they are, they are erring on caution because one of the doctors that I happened to see had COVID. And you know so, what? We don't play with it. Look at what Lamar O'Neill went through. Oh Look what Johnny gosh. Searcy went through. Look at how people many people are, still are no longer getting here it because, because of, of that. It. Yeah. We don't want yeah. that to happen. We want everybody out there to be safe and safe and happy. Now, have you been on Facebook? Have you looked at the newest little Barker's newest pictures lately? Yes, how precious. Our congratulations That's to, why I posted to John and something Madison. about way back when the first when we first went to the possum drop. And those kids were little. And now we've got this baby there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it is amazing to Michelle me. Michelle sent him a, a, an email gone. the other day. Which, which instrument, mandolin, guitar, or banjo is he tending to at this age? You know, let's start, they start them young over there. Yeah. But yep, that yep, baby yep. is just precious, just absolutely precious. This is, this is, this is my cousin Joan's book. And, and I wish y'all had met I my love cousin the look Joan. Of that. She passed away very unexpectedly um, because she went into the hospital to have some surgery and things did not go well. And, um, but she and her precious husband, Uncle John, that you will get to meet in the near future because he was part of the writing of Cry of the Eagle, he um, and she had enough time together in the hospital to read the Bible, study the Bible, and say their goodbyes for several days. Which is important. And the nurses were so in awe of the love of this precious couple. And she was so positive. And I, this was her book. And when he brought it in, I just, I said, okay, I gotta do this. Nothing is all wrong. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. So when you think that you need to give up and you think that you need to give in to Satan, don't, because there's something right still in what is wrong. So. And this is, I, I love this, and, and this was Joan. Cooperation is doing with a smile what you have to do anyway. So why not smile and be nice Absolutely. about it? You know, why not do that? And um, it is, and this one, this is cool. This is Theodore Roosevelt. Whenever you are asked if you can do a job, tell them, certainly I can. Then get busy and find out how to do it. That is so Nick, because he's remodeling a double wide down in Ackworth for a gentleman. And I said, how did you learn to do that? And he said, I got on YouTube and watched somebody else do it. Well, how did you learn to do that? Well, I watched somebody else do it. Well, how did you learn? Well, yeah, but I Nick's, read got up a, on Nick's got a talent for working with his hands. And he sent me some pictures this morning of the, the place he's remodeling. And he used the double wide that was redone in ball ground as an example. And he said, well, you should send me this picture. Send me this. So I did. And he's using some of the same stuff. And he just said, it's amazing to see the difference. <laughs> and I'm gonna make y'all laugh. When he got there to do this double wide, the front door was bright purple. Oh no. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Everything was a bit strange. So he has just gutted it and started over and he's redesigning and he'll call and say, mom, I've designed the kitchen this way, what do you think? And then he'll move something and then he'll change something. Then he'll add a length of a, a, a peninsula that he did in the kitchen. but. He learned by asking how to do it and by researching how to do it. Nobody ever taught him to do any of this stuff. No, but he's got a talent for it. He's well, just so good at his hands. Well, he didn't get it here, but, but I can tell you, it's like when I was doing all the Kroger stuff and JS walked in one day and said, how much did you pay for woodwork last year? And I told him and he said, stop right there. He said, I'm gonna start doing your woodwork. And I said, what? And I said, 
you don't know how to build anything. And he said, I took wood shop in school. And I said, how many years ago was that, J.S.? It was a long time ago. And he and Dawn, from then on, did all my woodwork. And it was just so weird. He just looked at me as I was writing a check to the gentleman who did my woodwork. And I was having to drive to Alabama to pick it up, drive back, unload it, da, da, da. It was just a hassle. Yeah. And he said, how much do you spend on woodwork? And I told him, and he said, Cut the check hold, to me hold now. That, Cut the check to me now, Prince. Let me, and he bought a router and a circular saw and a band saw and turned our basement into a wood shop. So I didn't think he knew squat about it. And he would say, show me what you want, get me a pattern of what you want, and I will produce it. And he did. Well, necessity is the and mother of invention. Like, yeah. You know what? I was like, are you kidding me? Because I never dreamed he could do the stuff he did. He was a, he was a diesel mechanic and a truck driver who had one shop class in high school. And from that, he remembered. So to me, not everybody is set for college. Not everybody, number one, exactly. is college material. Exactly. Not everybody can afford college today. But you can go, and, and you can go to any of the technical schools. And you can learn a We've great trade. We've got so many great ones up here. You here. can learn and a great trade. Between here and between Blairsville and, mm -hmm. and Jasper, it's just amazing. And, and so, research, research. Oh, I love this. Prevent a hassle. Smile first. <laughs> That's pretty good. But this is Joan's smile, book, and smile. I miss her. I love her. I miss her. Smile. It makes people wonder what you've been up to. We shared the same birthday. We shared a lot of laughter. Um, we shared the love of beautiful antique glass. And um, she shared with me some very special moments. Um, now, where did she live? I, I never thought she would die right out here on 382. And um, never thought she'd be leaving us. She was younger than me and um, went in for some simple surgery and never got to come home. And it was, um, it was pretty sad. She was, a, she was an amazing, amazing lady. So Joan, Joan Trammell Tinsley, I miss you, I love you, and I wish you were here today, but I wouldn't bring you back for the world. No, and, and don't sit down and make a list of all the people you've lost oh, in, the so last, in the last yeah, 15 years. It. It it. You were talking about a while ago, it, since we started the Monday Night Meal, and it's mind-boggling, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mind-boggling. Too many. You know, Too James many. will be gone nine years this year. Mm -hmm. Sherry, nine years. Mm -hmm. Look at David White. I know. I've, look I at, pulled look out Carl a picture of Shirley Durham and David White. And night, look at, look at the Blackstones. Night. Yep, yep. I mean, you just, it, it just goes and on, these and, on were, and on and on and on and on. These were not only, <clears throat> Evelyn Blackstone is the reason that Bill Senyard calls my makeup Sherry Stay because she called in live on the air and asked what kind of makeup I wore, and I told her. And so when I said the name, Freddie, oh, Freddie, Bill Senyard said, no, that's Sherry Stay makeup. And I said, what does that mean? And he I said, well, you put it on from. in the morning and it lasts all day. It lasts all, last all <laughs> week, right, he used to, say. Right, used to so. say. You know, I, have, I made her, her pickled vegetable salad not long ago. Oh, I've, my god! I have her original recipe out of a magazine it. that yes, she brought yes, to me yes. when she said, I'm not going to be able to make this Will anymore. Will you make some the next time you come and bring it with you? Can you do that? Well, I can do anything I want to do. Well, that would be really you and awesome. I, you know, I used to, to drink her. the I used to drink the vinegar out of it. I know. I used to drink so the good. vinegar out of it. So that. good. Well, I posted a photo last night of the day yeah, I can do that. that we showed up at Fields of the Wood in the motorhome with Matt Dibler after he had driven all night long from Kansas, was super sleepy, and he delivered a message up on the mountain. It is the time Standing of year in front of the Ten Commandments. that we are thinking about Easter. We are thinking about the resurrection. Will y'all please get in your cars? and drive up to Fields of the Wood and spend the day. Don't just go and stay 10 minutes. Spend the day. Walk up the hills, walk up the steps, sit and read every Bible verse in that place and spend a reflective day thinking about the resurrection because the resurrection happened. It happened. Oh, it happened. And it, and happened. it is why we are in such hope for those tomorrows to come. You know, I'm not pushing one fast food restaurant over another, but the, the one that flame burls their meat patties, all of their, their store in Jasper, the store in Ella J, and the store the in Queen. Billy. I'm not talking about that that one, no. Oh, okay. The one that has the crown, the, oh, the, the, oh, okay. the, the, yes, the yes, older yes, man yes. with the crown yes, and, yes. The, and the robe. Yes. Anyway, their windows are painted, Easter is coming, God is great. Mm -hmm. They put beautiful sayings yes, on that. the windows mm -hmm. at Easter and at Christmas, mm -hmm. and that just makes me want to pull in there and support, and support them, them in their yeah. goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And 
the fact that a restaurant would go well, out Well, and our local and do Dairy that. Queens, if oh, I completely. talk to AJ today, he will tell me God is in control of everything in our life. Completely. And he, he is helping his employees who can't find housing. And y'all, if you know of any rental housing, will you please pick up the phone and call me? If you know of any small homes that are available that we could buy, we're in the market to buy three or four small rental homes for his employees. He wants to help his employees because he had some good loyal employees that are having a hard time finding housing. So pick up the phone and call me. Everybody should know my phone number. It's 404-375-0590. And we will look at you houses given in that the number Gilmer for County, years. the Pickens County area, or the Cherokee County area. We are looking so for you want it in the south. You houses. want the south market. You I don't do. want. You don't yeah. want anything up in our no, end of the woods, because huh? Because his, his employees with gas prices, they need to be close to the stores they work at. We paid so. gas yesterday, three fifty nine in Shut Jasper. Shut your mouth. Well, three six three fifty five. It was three sixty five at Walmart there in Jasper, uh -huh. and she had a ten cent off from buying her gas at Walmart. Right. At Murphy's. But yeah. it's it was three sixty five, and that's cheaper wow. than anybody's. Wow. Wow. So you need to watch that. Yeah, well. Then Jasper, 365, <clears throat> you know, the running. We're all waiting for the next. Oh, my crop. God, I we called about propane next. yesterday. Oh. 4 55 a gallon for propane. Do what? 4 55 a gallon for propane. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. No. Oh, oh, yes. No. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I'm going to oh, be grilling no. a lot. Oh, no. I'm that's telling crazy. you. crazy. Can you believe that's that? That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So now what marvelous real estate do you have to tell us about today? Um, blessings. You, a lot of blessings. You've been so busy we, when you blessings. talked about your showings we, and what's coming we listed, in. Um, How the townhouse is coming in, in, oh, in Ball Exciting, Brown. exciting. Y'all, I can't wait. I'm going to bring that, the thing. Is that I'm Farmers? Show you the plan. Is farmers that, Crossing. We will have some homes ready to sell in 120 days. Well, didn't you sell an end unit? Were you talking about somebody have, came in and said, it, I want the end unit? Have, it doesn't have a downstairs bedroom, and they really need a downstairs bedroom. So we're trying to figure out a way to make something work for them. But this is all walking distance to downtown ball ground. And it is going to not only be amazing, we're going to have the, the price point that everybody can deal with, with the townhomes. And then up on the ridge, we're going to have overlook homes with the most beautiful, incredible sight you've ever seen. That's as such a, a gorgeous area down there. And we're... then we're going to have on the ridge, you see the mountains and the sunset, and it overlooks Calvin Farmer Park. So it's really, really a cool time. I, I do want to say today, them framers, they are amazing. They were out there in the drizzling rain framing. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. But we've had so much rain. We're Ball about ground six has weeks changed behind. so very, very much. It's, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's I still amazing. haven't been to Laura Mays yet. I'm still <gasps> on my way to Laura Mays oh, for, for a oh. a meatloaf sandwich. You, you gotta said. come. They have a ten dollar nine ninety nine special now, y'all. You get your sandwich, a small salad or small soup, and a cookie and your drink for $9.99. Oh, that's so good. check out Laura Mays and come and have that's the pimento cheese sandwich, the chicken salad sandwich, or the meatloaf sandwich. And then you get, you oh, get the sandwich, the you get meatloaf. either the small salad or the small soup, and then a cookie, and then your drink, and shall that's we tell $9.99. Can we tell her that Sherry sent us? Yes, of course, of <laughs> course. And and that Sherry, Sherry always has there a meatloaf sandwich, but then Sherry takes home her chicken salad. Because I really like their chicken salad. So now, salad. how's her chicken salad? What does she put A little in? bit different than mine because hers has a little bit of purple onion in it, but it's really, Ooh. really good. And she Ooh. has a fantastic young chef who is. Um, Hispanic. But does she put the craisins and the pecans or the grapes she puts in it? Things that not grapes, but she puts some of the same stuff I do. But she has that little bit of kick with that little purple onion, and it's really, really good. That sounds really so good. That makes really me good. want a chicken salad sandwich. Yep. I yep. made a stroganoff the other night that was really good. My I hadn't made a stroganoff in forever. She made stroganoff. We had dinner with her Christmas, and she made stroganoff, and it was fantastic. Fantastic. I hadn't so, made stroganoff in forever, and we so just decided we wanted So please get out one. today, y'all. Before the storms, gather all your things, get what you need, get a safe spot in place because if you're if here in L. J., run come, out to R. N. A. and get one of their great soups today or some of their pies. Take it home. Miss Jennifer cook. said to tell you hello Yay, the other day. I she love asked them. about you. I love them, and I. Uh, I'll probably try to be somewhere safe around two o'clock because so they're saying I. we're going to have some hail, and I don't like hail, and I don't like storms, and I don't like thunder. I don't so like the heavy wind. Safe. The wind is what worries me. Listen, Listen to that. Hear what's coming on the roof now? Hear that? Yeah, y'all get gonna ready. You're going to be driving. You be careful. Batten out down there, the hatches. Stay safe, and it is time for us to go.
Bye. We love y'all. Have a blessed week or what's left of it. Yay. Bye, y'all.